What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ben from Ben and Tanae, and welcome back to NFC East Breakdown. This is week two. I know this is kind of a late upload, but um, as you know, your boy got a life. Now, yeah, this week, everybody lost in the NFC East except for one team, and I hate to say it, but it's Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm going to get started with my team. I was real excited for week one, you know what I'm saying? We looked good, we were consistent, had a run game. Defense played well. We were total opposite this week. The offense couldn't get anything going. Defense, they didn't get stops when they needed it. Um, DJ Swearinger had two interceptions. That was like the only bright spot. Um, yeah, so we just didn't play good. Um, here are the facts about that. Our running game didn't do, do anything. We didn't get a good push off the line. Um, we were just passing in the middle of the field, you know, short passing game. Didn't take any real shots down the field. And that's about it. But I feel like the real reason why we lost was complacency. Uh, we were complacent. They, I don't know, you know, they never won week one before, so they felt like they did something. And I said time and time again, if we can just stay consistent, we can win games, and possibly make a playoff run. So, as you can see, we're not consistent right now. They were complacent because they won a game. It's only one game, but this is one loss that we should have beat the Colts. The Colts aren't that good. Me and Andrew Luck look like he never even got injured ever in his life. Um, yeah, very disappointing. We sucked. On to the next team. Philadelphia versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, people were wondering if Ryan Fitzpatrick could do the same thing he did against the New Orleans Saints, which was throw for like 400 yards and like have a shootout. And he did it again. Fitz magic, as they say. Um, Conor McGregor's body double. But the Eagles put up a good fight, but I'm glad they lost. They lost to a team that's just hot. The Chip Kelly curse continues. Deshaun Jackson scored once again on the Eagles. Um, I mean, here's Deshaun Jackson, man. Regular season game. Fitzpatrick going deep to Deshaun Jackson on the first play from scrimmage. The former Eagle is inside the 10 and takes it all the way 75 yards. On to the next game. I'm keeping this short and sweet because it was just a bunch of losses. So it's nothing great to talk about. It was an NFC East showdown. It was the Cowboys at home in Dallas versus the New York football Giants. Um, I wanted the Giants to win this game, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so everybody could be one and one and the Cowboys can be 0-2. But the Cowboys took care of business. They got to the, the formula that I spoke of on the first video of, for week one. They fed Ezekiel Elliott the ball and did everything else off of that. And the Giants, they couldn't really get anything going on the offense. Uh, side of the ball, Saquon Barkley could only do so much, and the offensive line for New York Giants is horrible. So they made the Dallas Cowboys defensive line look like they were just unstoppable, which they were, but they're, they're not that good. They made the de Dallas defense as a whole look good, and they're not that good. Um, they have a great pass rusher, one great pass rusher, but they can't. The defense can't win Dallas games, so. They're going to have to depend on their offense and do what they did against the Giants. So, but the Giants need to get it together, man, 0-2. I know it's only two games and it seems like, look, man, it's a slippery slope, okay? That's why I wanted the Redskins to start off 2-0, build the confidence to go in the week three and win that game. We go into the bye because our bye is week four. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it was just a bunch of losing this, this past week, so there's nothing exciting to talk about. No crazy plays. So I'm just going to get into the week three picks. We got Green Bay coming into FedEx Field against us, the Washington Redskins. Um, Aaron Rodgers, he's, he's kind of beat up, man. You know, he's not going to be moving like he usually does, which is good for us. We need to contain him. But that doesn't mean he can't beat us. He can beat us by standing in the pocket as well. He has that type of arm. The arm talent to, to actually beat us. So we just have to 
maintain, just keep an eye on that guy, play solid defense, get to him, get quarterback pressures, and get a couple sacks, man. And our offense need to get going. The defense is not that good. Our offense need to get it right back on, run the ball, take some shots downfield, man. You got Josh Dodson down there, man. You got Paul Richardson that can stretch the field. Take some shots downfield. You got a healthy Jordan Reed. You can make something happen, man. So, with that, I haven't watched the Redskins winning. Um, just get used to it. Unless I really, really think we're going to lose, I'm picking the Washington Redskins for every game. So, let's just keep it real. We got the New York Giants versus the Houston Texans. Um, I'm going, I'm going with the Houston Texans. Let's just keep it real. The Texans have two elite pass rushers. Um, and the Giants offensive line is trash. Uh, that's, that's just about it. Um, so Eli will not get a chance to really get to throw it to Odell Beckham. Um, so, and Saquon Barkley, he's going to, the only way they're going to win if they want to pass the ball is they're going to have to like get everybody to block. And that's including Saquon Barkley, get the tight ends, get the chip, chip on these guys and everything like that. That's the only way they're going to win, but I have them losing to the Houston Texans. We have the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles versus the Indianapolis Colts, the ones that just came in our house and beat us. Um, for the sake of it, I'm gonna say the Eagles. Um, they're still a good team. Their defense is really good. So, um, yeah, I got the Eagles winning it. Not because I want revenge, but I have the Eagles winning uh, just because of the defense. Uh, Carson Wentz is gonna be back. He started week three. So we'll see what comes of that. So I'm not really too much dependent on them right now. But the, the Philadelphia Eagles, the defense can hold up. They can win games. So I got the Eagles over the Colts. And we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Seattle Seahawks. It's going to be a good game. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys. Um... From what I've seen the last two weeks, Seattle put zero money into the offensive line. And Russell Wilson's just running for his life at this point. And it's sad because he's a great quarterback. Um, get that man some offensive line, man. For real. Get, get that man some offensive line. Because he needs it, man. He's running for his life. Like, literally. Like every, every other play, he's running. If he's dropping back to pass, he's running. Um, he makes some good throws here and there, but he can't do that the whole game and expect to win. So, I'm going with the Dallas Cowboys, unfortunately. Um, I got them winning. So, yeah, man. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tune in to week three, which is going to be next week. Make sure if you like this video, man, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We've got some more com content coming your way. It's Ben and Tanae, NFC East Breakdown, Season 2. 2018 season, man. I'm out. Peace.